Yeah, you can see the date and time. This was the thing that Janus Ogulin told me it's gonna be used to kill me. This shit deprived me, kept me without sleep for several weeks on the row. He did not come to me anything about what is going on, what's going on, because I didn't feel anything like this. Occasionally I would, uh, but under MK Ultra they told me this is what's going to kill you. Janis Ogulin is director of police of Novo Mesto. Uh, they told me when this when you're going to have this thing turned on, they're going to do something to it. Sure enough, I had, probably you can see on my news site, over two weeks, four hours of sleep every day. And it was not sleep, it was a beating during the sleep. Um, the day I disconnected this garbage, I extended myself sleep for no less than exactly two hours. That's to at least six hours of sleep. This shit almost brought me to death. It appears was used occasionally. Never already when was purchased as new, I was capable to even set the password on one. They destroyed me absolutely everything. I would go to the store, purchase, bring home, they would get the shit in the hands the next day. Uh, the same night, it would be dismantled, destroyed, and even modified. May the 21st, 2022, and I would just want to touch a little issue here. It concerns the Wi-Fi. Um, I got no less than several telephones here next to me to be precise I got right here three telephones I got one tablet and what's interesting is whenever I'm trying to use this it's called this program ElectroSmart I always get completely completely different readings from every one of these phones even if I use the same program the same software version 1.21 ElectroSmart appears to me to be so far the best one. Also, I have used other options as well. Uh, it just depends on the telephone I use. Some telephones, uh, like this one right now, doesn't give anything. I don't know what's going on with this one here. It's going to give something. Ah, it appears it's going to give me something. We just have to give him a time. Those are both Y60. Vico telephones. Uh, what's interesting, however, is that none of these telephones here that you see, ah, that one, this one here right now is indicating one, two, three, four, five, six signals. And they're all 2G and they all belong to the Tushmobile. Tushmobile is just this telephone that belongs to the Tushmobile, this one here, and I just do one single, no more, my SIM card, but it appears like that the antennas that are being used, 2.4 gigahertz antennas, are depicted to me when using this telephone as a 2G signal. That's what's interesting about this software modification on this telephone, whatever they have done to one. It will not demonstrate, in other words, it's a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. This one here won't do either. This one here is not going to do anything either. This one also is sucks. It's not going to do any anything about it. Even that these telephones are way more sophisticated, better telephones than... Okay, it's now transmitting me more. How many is this now? Seven. It's now already seven sources.
this one here still nothing with it okay it is just demonstrating me this stuff here this here is not catching right now anything but maybe it's gonna be improvement during the process and I'll be able gladly to demonstrate about what goes on this here is not 2G I was brainwashed under MK Ultra by the neighbor Andre Ull. He was the one who claimed me with what appeared were Americans that he's going to go and he's going to use my cards, my SIM cards that I purchased at one time before even departure to Belarus to Hungary. I didn't go to Belarus. I ended up in in, I, I went to Hungary and because of what happened in Hungary I, I wanted to proceed to, to, to Russia because I no longer know what went on in 2017. They brainwashed me that he is the one who's going to use this kind of cards that I purchased, a whole bundle of these cards because of the, what they were doing to me with the internet at home. It was a whole hard drive that was completely... These hard drives, I would leave them at home I would go for a walk and it would take me sometimes even 10 hours to burn a single one hour movie on uh, on it's, everything was destroyed it was a total they destroyed everything around me absolutely everything and so I, it's very hard for me to talk about this stuff because it had a tremendous psychological effect on it that stuff doesn't happen anymore because I have everything on a portable drives and Furthermore, I take laptop with me, is present with me at all the time. So they brainwash me, number one, for me to think it's actually just a, it's nothing harmless, it's just a 2G uh, on, used on some kind of, telephones for which Andre Ull, the neighbor, even insisted me uh, he will activate them during the night time, that he's going to be downstairs in a toilet everywhere that he's going to be and at one time that he's going to activate them and all I got to do is basically video record and go on the internet and tell just the stuff uh, that they're doing to me, but they will, I will never be able to catch him and this and that and try to catch me and this and that that kind of stuff went on. Uh, that kind of stuff was amplified with the unidentified father is dementia, dementia. Uh, when they started to lock the doors upstairs so the father would not walk to some place. For what I was told that whoever is going to be downstairs doing the stuff to me will be used to slow me down so that I wouldn't catch up step with him uh, these are no this what you have seen here these are not two G's this is none of this what you have seen right there it's two G uh, these are simply what you see here these are 2.4 gigahertz wireless antennas Wi-Fi is what this is this is no 2G these are just really wireless 2.4 gigahertz antennas for which the neighbor Donna Colenz told me talking about the neighbor here Donna Colenz brainwashed me that it's got to be 2.4 gigahertz and not what I have purchased inside of the store what you are about to see I suppose I don't even know what that is, what kind of uh, stuff that I have. The only thing I know is they have done something to it. Because it reduces the health effects on one. This is 2.4 gigahertz stuff. This is nothing, this got nothing to do with the 2G. This is just the telephone they fucked up. They did the stuff to the telephone, they brutalized the telephones, they changed the stuff on the telephones. Um, now it's already more. So that it would make me feel that, well, you know, 
they are using some kind of a 2G and stuff like this. It, what I made an assumption is that they just did some shit like this so that I would go and complain that it's a 2G that it's uh, being used to harass me, but I figure out the 2G can actually not be even harmful. Well, in reality, this is not 2, 2G. This is actually 2.4 gigahertz. And this telephone is not showing probably anything about really what was what goes on around me. Because as I stated, I have several devices here. And each of these devices is showing a completely different picture. With one of the devices showing just a limited amount of this signals. But luckily, he depicts them as... But luckily, he depicts them as But luckily, he depicts them as 2.4 G uh, gigahertz is what I'm trying to say. So that's what makes this thing so different with a tablet. This one here now it's demonstrating it's saying it's it's 3 G. A touche mobile that's that's mine that's really really mine but it, it doesn't demonstrate other signals that are in here there is other signals that are in here and a little earlier it did demonstrated one it did caught one but in reality there are many it's not one because if I just step outside of this house what appears that somebody created some kind of a Faraday cage and here is I'm talking about my niece's husband Mitya Weber, who prided himself under MK Ultra that he created some kind of a Faraday cage that inside of the house where this kind of signals would be, you would not get to see this kind of signal. But once you step outside of the house, these signals are all around you. Yeah, I know, but I'm going to demonstrate you a video so that you can see this kind of stuff. But well, what's the best about this stuff is that once you go inside of the house, it leaves the telephone like completely dumb. Like it appears that the telephone doesn't demonstrate anything. That he doesn't see shit. But it's this kind of telephone. So this telephone that reads, that has ability to point out it's 2.4 gigahertz, doesn't have the ability to even see. He doesn't have, doesn't have the ability to see what kind of signal it is. Because he's going to demonstrate you instead uh, it's, a, it's a 2G. Which is actually, as I demonstrated, this, these are not 2Gs. This stuff is not 2G. Okay, so this one that has ability to demonstrate what kind of signal it is, is not going to show you. But... Therefore, as signals that in reality exist inside of this room, it only show you this year 3G one. One of my phones, which is this one here. This is from. I am about. I have a this abonnement, this um, subscription with uh, this company, uh, Tushmobil. Therefore, with the Telemach. But this is not Tushmobil. What you see right there. In other words, this. Telephone is programmed in a such a way that it would demonstrate 2.4 gigahertz transmission, Wi-Fi transmissions, as 2G. They're not 2G. This is so fucking twisted, people. This is not easy, this stuff. And this one here that would demonstrate you otherwise is not going to demonstrate you shit. It doesn't demonstrate anything, you see. There you go. And then you have this third phone, which is this one here, that appears is showing nothing. That also appears is, 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 is more than not, acts like a dummy. It depends how it grabs him, but it will not demonstrate. And if it's going to demonstrate again, it's not going to demonstrate you anything. And then you have this tablet, which I ordered from China. Never ordered this tablet. I pay for it, and then this was delivered to me that doesn't show shit. This one doesn't show anything at all. So I don't have the way, I don't have the means to demonstrate really what's going on here. 
But I was told like this by the police director of the Novo Mesto, Yanis Ogolin, that they're going to use wireless router to murder me. If you watched my news site, you could realize that the sleeping patterns in my case were at times affected. Uh, with occasional really, really, really bad situation I faced food-wise. One time, just as I was promised the case is going to be, and that's why I know it was a poisoning, on several occasions, and I always got the signals from overseas, whenever those are due, through the mainstream media, I catch my breath for 20 minutes. Here we're talking about the cancer. I couldn't even stand on my feet because of the oculus area above, on both feet. The cancer affected my body so much. I need about 20 minutes to gather myself, to get air, basically dizzy, barely handing myself to get together. And it's something that was just rehearsed from Andre MK Ultra. They used this stuff on me, Andre MK Ultra. They suggested for the other people that's going to be in tra 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 tra. That kind of stuff I'm talking about. Yanis Ogolin stated to me, eventually they will destroy me. They will get me killed. And the one that's going to kill me, it's eventually going to be a router, which I purchased. The routers I purchased were two, maybe even three, I don't know. The only thing I know is every one I purchased, brought home, new in the box, set the password on one, no longer would be functional the very next day. The next day, no longer I possibly could put the password, protect one uh, from public access. And another thing about this, this particular transmitter was that I was promised I'm going to be killed with one. By how it all that shit started. It started with this kind of stuff. With this kind of stuff. It, with this. It started with this. With this. With this kind of stuff. What they would do is when I used to use a cable, they would destroy me right here. Right here. They would destroy me every one of this uh... I don't know how you say this, uh, when, you, when you stick this inside of the computer, so that you have internet, they destroyed me, every one of them, forcing me into rather what would be Wi-Fi. It was done forcefully. They destroyed me several cables, and financially I am not capable to go and buy cable, 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 cable. So what I did was I bought myself a Wi-Fi to reduce the problems, to reduce troubles. Then what they would do is, They would use the Wi-Fi to affect my health. And so that you can you, you can see on my website that it started really gradually. I don't know if uh, March and April, it became more and more and more intensified that I complained to you about. If you would go, I bet, you would get a real, real, real pattern of this. When I complained about four hours sleep. Greatly reduced four hours sleep. Greatly reduced four hours sleep. And then all of a sudden, in April, this, it was at least since April. In April, it started in the, somewhere in the, in April, in the middle of April, this started like a completely like zzz, frequent four hours of sleep. This frequent four hours of sleep went on probably about 14 to 20 days straight. And I had a serious, serious problem. I had serious struggle. I dealt with and I no longer could have done deal with this stuff. And so I posted you guys here on May the 16th that I'll probably be dead now, one of these days. You can see it here. This was published on May the 16th. Then I would go, today by the way is May the 21st. So you're talking about, you're talking about actually more because this is I think for the US that publishes. You're talking about five, you, about six days ago, I went downstairs and I said, it didn't make sense. Even the Wi-Fi signal from below the room, it was nothing terrible. It indicated the telephone, it was nothing, it was, it was not bad, it was okay. I unplug the telephone, uh, the router. I took him off, I disconnected him, but I noticed another thing that reminded me very much of scenario from Yana Zogorin, from the director of the police station of Nova Mesa, who claimed that he's gonna murder me with that router. For the last, he said, we're gonna use that one, and that thing is gonna murder you. Murder you because when your body, the immune system, according also to physicians that participate in this stuff, 
is lower to the degree that you're going to have, you can be completely regulated with this type of adapter. And that's what we're going to use for the final step to destroy you. Once I disconnected this thing six days ago, the only thing I did was, and that's why I know it's 100% fact what I'm stating right now. The only thing that happened is I got two hours long more sleep. And that's all. That's about 50% of the sleep. Going from four hours to six hours, it feels good. Even if it should be eight hours. Trust me, it feels good. So I know, on top of that, it was the antenna, just like my mother told me, they're going to do. They're going to point straight into your room. So when I climb that ladder up, and I look at this router, I got, I got a whole message real fast that came to me what went on. What exactly they have done with this router, I have no clue. Uh, maybe mother did this to exactly when, if I get to see this thing at all, because they doubt me. I'm going to even pay attention to this shit under MK Ultra. Maybe just to remind me to take this shit off before I face some really serious problems, health related problems. And I did so. What they have done to this beast, I have no idea. But it worked ever since. Uh, my sleep, basically two hours, extended for another two hours. I would not be posting to you guys stuff like this unless I would be 100% certain about it. I would not be posting any of this stuff if I would not have experienced exactly what I have stated. If I went for two months, three months actually on the row, from worst to the worst, uh, bi-weekly, then weekly, and then into a permanent four hour, till I disconnected this beast on what the sleep again extended to six hours, that's for a 50% back then it's got to be something they have done to this shit one way or the other or perhaps this thing is so dangerous I have no idea the only thing I know is that I get two hours more sleep by just taking this shit offline it did help me tremendously this formula about adapter being used to completely take me off was actually maybe even could trace overseas I have no idea because for example this individual that you see right here was involved in MK Ultra since 1995 in 1996 probably 97 98 for sure 97 98 this guy if he was not in Poland I have I can't say about that exactly but he was on the picture was one of the first to go into school to become a physician, a doctor, with idea what I was taught to help me out with the future cancer issues. Well, he did the great video on cancer and he was advisor for people who suffered cancer related issues during MK Ultra process. Whenever I met Dr. Eric Berg, became a doctor, Eric Berg, whenever I met him, he always reminded me on a dirty game they're going to play against me in the future, basically, on how they're going to destroy my immune system, lower one, and that's exactly what neighbor doctor, physician, Igor Cotter was doing, destroying my immune system completely and checking out all the products, everything that was available in area to see what kind of impact that's going to have. How they are going to play down, destroy my immune system, place one exactly on a cancer below a level and then on how I'm going to have to free myself basically of death on my own. That other people have gone through that kind of stuff. Uh, he dealt advices to others involved in MK Ultra, how to, in a parenthesis, cure themselves. That's why I don't trust this stuff because these people have physicians, they have services, medications literally on the site. I don't think I can compare myself in a situation I was am with people like this. He was not the only one who guaranteed me 
how this stuff is going to happen. He actually took my side and even stated me would witness for me that this eventually was true. There was plenty of other people who threatened me. And it was about the worst thing that somebody would tell you during an MK Ultra on how you're going to be infected with a cancer and you're going to have to find a way eventually through uh, plants, natural flowers, and I don't know what kind of stuff to liberate yourself from deadly disease such as this cancer. This adapter, this Wi-Fi, as I was told, this would have final impact on me. When it comes to adapter that you have just seen, that thing definitely was in it. But what I'm about to demonstrate you as next, I'm not so sure, because they have this international people who stated that with what you are about to see, I'm not going to be able to prove anything, but that I should still place this stuff on the internet. There is absolutely nowhere written about Mr. Eric Berg as per when did he go to study to become a physician, a doctor basically. So take it from me as the first source on the internet as I stated to you. Neighbor Donna Collins insisted me it's about 2.4 gigahertz only that is safe. Anything else, it's dangerous, it's deadly. And so that's why they had to destroy me also, one of the one or two of the routers. That's how they said. Uh, but Initial instructions to me during MK Ultra, which also I was told other MK Ultra staff members had to go through, and it's a lie. It's not true. This is not true at all. It's a lie. They did not go through anything. They had the physicians. They have the doctors. Uh, mm -hmm. Individual that you're about to see literally did go to the school. This was the first one, according to Prince Andrew. I believe this man went into the school for physician as the first one I would give a year as far as 1996. If I say 1997, it can be not even one year later than that. That was when he proceeded with university studies to become a physician, a doctor. And the money literally came most likely even from Britain or something like this. I don't know how they got him how they financed him, but this was the first man, in 97 I say. There were at least two, if not three other guys that have proceeded also to become a doctors, a physicians through this case with what they claim idea to help me out in the future, but this man right here that you see, this was the first one. The number one, the original guy who became the first doctor physician through this case was exactly this guy. Was this guy actually in Poland? Very likely he was, but I don't, I can guarantee this. Listen, the original scenario was to affect people with a cancer and let people eat food to cure themselves, to either cure themselves or die. That's what I was told the case also is going to be with me. These people had a physicians, and in my case, there is a serious real poisoning that goes on and next to the poisoning that went on it's also radiation that went on electromagnetic if you like wi-fi whatever kind of stuff they have used i was told if you're not going to buy 5g telephone telephone with a 5g you already are dead not that i couldn't buy no fucking 5g telephone they have taken the money for one here right here is a lot of money i pay for this and got something completely different. I paid for what I paid and I got delivered completely different kind of some kind of crap instead. They made sure, just as they told me under MK Ultra, I would not get what I'm gonna pay for even. They wouldn't be talking to me about let's say walnut from Mercator stores. I was told don't don't eat that when it's from Mercator you know that at Mercator they didn't like you and this and that that you're not gonna try to eat that one 
That's what I was taught. Don't even try, don't even taste that kind of stuff. Um, they told me about, the neighbor told me here, a police officer told me about the milk. They're going to deliver the milk. Don't even try, the milk has got about five times more culture or whatever inside uh, than if you would buy one in the store. Like this is what I was taught. Don't even try one because it's going to be deadly. Uh, walnut and milk are the two ingredients with walnut naturally containing carcinoms inside, poison, literally, that would not be on a healthy cancer patient's menu. So I have no idea how much that stuff is true, actually. Um, how much I could use that as a proof so that I would not sound as a paranoid but they wouldn't be talking to me about the stuff like this if something wouldn't have grounds for it they wouldn't talk to me about products all kinds of products that much uh, if they didn't have intentions of some kind they talk to me about every fucking product you have inside of the store you understand about every fucking product you get inside of the store right here in the city of the novel man so you would go to the stores and you would purchase those products for every product i could give you whatever i was told about how to view one how to see one as how to pursue one as during this kind of emergency during which I'm going to have to basically lift myself literally from the grave. Which is kind of impossible, because if you get gift, like they say in German, poisoned here and there, and you get radiated like this with directed energy weapons, sure enough, they have not used gassing, because gassing, anything like this, anything that would leave behind traces or something, they never use that kind of stuff. That's just a paranoia used to cover up the real issues in this case. They incited in. But they did poison and they definitely did use directed energy weapons, which can severely affect somebody that suffers from serious cancer related problems. Sure enough, that is the case. Any kind of government agency that would have reason to believe existence of something that's known as MK Ultra torture wouldn't waste a single fucking day to meet the person and settle justice with one to do as much as possible to repair for wrongdoings I have placed thousands of proofs on the internet about identifying people, buildings, in different countries, from different places. Yet nobody stopped here, nobody stopped here to talk to me about. They have in fact as a government shut me in the face hospital doors and in Poland and in Slovenia they instead have taken a different route they instead have taken a route of saw nothing heard nothing no nothing go like Dumbo and continue to collect the so-called proofs basically that's totally unacceptable uh, no responsible government agency if one would felt is not responsible for crime, therefore would trying to get away with it, would act in such a disgusting way. That's all I have to say in respect to this. Now I'm going to roll you some of this uh, videos as you can see basically the differences between these phones, this stuff that I have. It's a really sad stuff I have. Uh, this is a stuff that as soon as I would purchase one they would just go sh like this on it the phones are completely hacked I got other videos I'm gonna play you to prove you I should be doing other stuff really 
And I feel that my father was used exactly for this kind of exact MK Ultra proof, my identifying people to jump in between and cover my space that I should use otherwise to point my emergency out during a real health emergency exactly uh, and so the video that you are seeing right now I would definitely not place one online unless I want to know for sure that at least this adapter at least the adapter that I have demonstrated to you was used to get me literally killed with it that was the adapter that reduced the sleep amount of sleep per day for 50 percent that's entire two hours from six to four hours that's deadly that's what i call really really strange because this is right outside of our house well what i mean by strange is that i was convinced brainwashed severely on how it's only about 2G signal. Con confused because I realize it's not about 2G signal as they brainwashed me. It would be. No, this is about real Wi-Fi signals. This is about 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signals. So as I return from the night exercise, you can see it's early in the morning and the date is eventually May the 20th of 2022 that you see right there I go on an area check outside of the house it was so wonderful when I removed the router few days earlier I felt so good about it I was able to go for a walk do exercise that I decided in fact to see a little bit more about what goes on and so I go and I ransack with the telephones at night time also area on the floor below mine and externally outside of the house and findings were really spectacular just realizing this is about 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signals and some other stuff as you're about to see uh, it sure did place awareness at least about the telephones at least about the degree of hacking in respect to telephones I had no idea before this I'm at the location number one at this point and, uh, this is the corner of the house it's right outside and you can see it's, it says right there it's low low shit just two devices it says right here 2.4 2.4 something really low and uh so what i'm gonna do <clears throat> Pay attention to this. This is a canal. I'm gonna go back to see what. Uh, uh huh. There is some kind of Bluetooth that's turned on too. Uh, that's basically right. In front of our house. Right? Here I am right at the entrance. That will be location number two of our property. This is right at the entrance at night. See what I mean? And it's like really, really strange that you would have this situation going on. Now heading toward the uh, this end of the house, therefore.
Now on the, this corner here, I probably am doing this a little faster than what I should have, but I'm trying to, I'm determined to go as fast as possible before somebody sees me, what I'm doing right there. I just am shocked that this is eventually Wi-Fi and not 2G. I was brainwashed, the case is going to be by the neighbor Andre Uhl. I'm at the location number three at this point, and I can't believe what I see. And it looks like it's more alive but what's interesting to me is basically that i get like not very strong stuff i don't actually get everything is 2.4 and so and now at this corner here and I will repeat the process to see basically what's going on here it feels like it's more alive at the back of the house okay let's go up here Looks like a really, really I want to make sure about this really what's going on here with this stuff. Hello. I'm now at location number four, but what's shocking with this 2.4 gigahertz signal, which I did not know existed, is that the signal I have seen earlier, I don't get one now. Uh, that means that the signal we have seen earlier were actually coming from the opposite uh, house located on the opposite side of the road from us. That's from the Colens area. Uh, I just walk all the way to the end, to location number five right now. You're going to see me take a fast reading about what goes on. Those are the signals at number four from the rear of the house, from behind the house, the street as you see, okay. Uh, I am basically the real surprise that's waiting on me. So therefore I go to number five, I take the reading and then I head back to the main entrance. That's where the main surprise right now is coming for me. Hello, nothing special, the same, the same thing. Pretty much the same thing. And uh, I'll do one more shot like this. Okay. That's what we get from around the corner. That's that. So, I don't know. You got the idea about what's going on here with this. It's time for us to do some other measurements.
Aha, uh -huh. now that's interesting. Now all of a sudden all this shit popped out of nowhere. That's crazy because right now I am at the front of the house. I'm now right at this moment. I am further from anybody. Uh, I don't know if I'm further from anybody, but it, it kind of feels maybe even number one would be further from anybody. But I'm at the location number two right in front of our house and that's really freaking far from everybody and what i see is 2.4 g signal wi-fi actually 2.4 wi-fi all over the place but the real surprise is waiting for me once i step inside of the house and so what exactly is the most shocking to me is that you're going to see me with a four telephones i'm going to use and one tablet of which with exception of one they barely demonstrate any signal at all once I step inside of the house. In fact, they suggest 3G, 2G, at times they indicate even 2.4 gigahertz signal with exception of one phone. Now that phone demonstrates seven more. What it refers to, however, is 2G signals. They're not 2G, they're real Wi-Fi's, they're 2.4 based Wi-Fi signals. However, none of those other telephones, they barely acknowledge any kind of signal inside of the house. And there is another surprise waiting on me once I step inside of the house. Possible. I am again at the, here at the door, the rear of the house, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. What you see right there? what is this all of a sudden what is this thing where the hell is this shit coming from it appears to me as if the house would amplify this or where the hell is this coming from I'm gonna start to see this one more time what's going on with this because I really do not understand any of this stuff. Okay, that doesn't make sense because I'm now, whoa, I'm almost, uh, that really doesn't make sense. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I get the signal far from houses, I get this signal. That does not make sense. You know, I am right now like in front of the home, away from anybody. And this here, what you see, this is a fence. You know, this is a fence and... Yeah, this is number six and this is really far away from everybody next to the fence. It shouldn't be really no signal, there's no neighbor. This is a tree you see here, I don't know, a fig or whatever it is. And uh, that is a vine here too. It shouldn't be what you see right there is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so... Heading back to our house. And here, all of a sudden, it exploded. Uh, let's see this. Whoa. I do not understand where the hell is this stuff coming from. Look at that, direct 40 HP. 
We got a real fucking problem here. What you see here, I already was alerted about Americans. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna ever get to do this stuff because this is how successfully they brainwashed me on 2G and that I should even pay special attention to direct HP laser jet. I don't have HP laser jet. I don't have a printer like this. I don't have a clue what the hell this thing is. I have a Lexmark for one thing and the best yet is to come. Where is this? Where is this shit coming from? And I am at the entrance here. That is strange. Okay, this is what I'm gonna pause for a little bit more. Uh, you see right there it's written Drugo nad stropje gosti, Drugo nad stropje domaci. This is what Mitya Weber, my niece's husband, stated to me that I'm unwelcome here in this house. That I'm unwanted here, that I don't wanna be. And he's gonna put this thing here for the mother for here and there to either demonstrate her or give her the ability to see through Wi-Fi who is at home here so where is this signal coming from how was this stuff next to the laser jet that you have seen from Hewlett Packard how the hell this stuff appeared over here that's now the question I need to get an answer to this isn't only about a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and what was demonstrated to G this is also about other issues this is very personal the last time when individuals stated to me in the face I'm unwelcome here asking me what exactly I was doing here was name her name is a Sonia Kotar that's a wife from Igor Kotar that's just before they threw me inside of the mental hospital during the birthday party was they orchestrated to provoke she was the one the neighbor was the one who openly asked me what exactly am I even doing here that I shouldn't be here that it's nothing mine here in fact that I should get lost from my home that was for the birthday party of my father but I was the one who was charged with a crime by the psychiatric institution by the Slovenian court as the one who attacked assaulted verbally my neighbors and my father they tortured under MK Ultra and dared me to approach them during the birthday party which they orchestrated under the window of my room on that hot summer day in May. Just to get the feedback and with input that uh, rather should trigger authorities against them than against me. But hey, this is Slovenia and everything goes by here so where is this kind of signal coming from from what i was told it will come from the neighbors that he would make an arrangement with the neighbors for this signal somehow to be here and that takes a little bit further into what i was told it's going to be they're going to somehow wire i don't know wire what wire uh maybe a cable or something like this that they're going to pull or something like this they're going to do to transmit this kind of signal. I have no idea how they have done this, but I'm not done investigating. This shit is almost surreal. Ghosty. Drugo nad stropje ghosty. Oh, what the fuck. This sounds like second floor guests. Like I'm inside of this home here. And uh, it's supposedly there is guests and there is... What?
the shoe is uh, really really refreshing uh, nothing in here that's for sure there is something a little here nothing in here either interesting okay let's, let's see what's going on here And uh, I'm back here at the entrance, and maybe I have to do something like this to see what's going on. But it appears that all of a sudden everything is gone. <laughs> There's actually no source all of a sudden. Aha, uh -huh, okay, that thing is not really... Okay, let's try this. See whether we can be lucky enough to get something out of that one. Okay, aha, uh -huh. and that is the stuff that this telephone, right, this one is demonstrating like a 2G, everything is 2G, interesting, some of which are really aggressive, but there must be something with a telephone or something that's indicating that kind of stuff that's 2G and doesn't give any kind of information, it just gives a 2G information about it, okay, I get it, I get it. There's something wrong rather with the phone than anything else. That's interesting. <clears throat> yeah, well, I doubt that this is zero because the other telephone is actually indicating more than just this telephone here. Interesting. Sure it is interesting. Quite a strong exposure here on this telephone. What you see here was captured actually on the May the 21st, 2022, uh, with a tablet where the time is not properly set nor the date properly are set. Uh, this was this was this was captured. Uh, it's I have no maybe maybe no clue maybe you're gonna see maybe you're gonna manage to even capture the time when I eventually recorded all this stuff but it proves the point I stated a little earlier and the point is that there are no less than five gadgets electronic gadgets that's for therefore four all together four Androids and one tablet they were being destroyed in a process, therefore modified to the degree that they would not indicate properly, demonstrate about not even whether it is for the Wi-Fi radiation or for the regular 2G, 3G, 4G. And what I was told on that MK Ultra, what's going to kill me, it's actually going to be a 5G. I was told that when you're going to be buying a tablet, that's when it's going to be detrimental for you whether you're going to survive this stuff or not because if you're going to choose other than 5G 
you're going to be dead. You're going to have no chance, no way to prove about really what goes on. So this is what why this is so freaking important video. You see, this is what this is important. So now let's go and see so that you can see what I video recorded the next day. Therefore, on a May the 21st, 2022, as I stated, the date and time on this uh, time camera here in respect to tablet with which I have video recorded. Tablet was the worst of them all. The tablet which I have paid for and was a completely different tablet that was delivered to me. Uh, let's see what exactly happened. I started video recording this stuff inside of my room and then I went right out on the same floor on a balcony and so that you can see the whole process basically how how this shit works how they did it all right for what you see here i was told that this is not going to do me any favor anyways i gotta tell you they have tested absolutely everything they have these international people and they have done test absolutely everything but this is what you see here is inside of my room but this is not going to do me any good no i can tell you that i sleep better two hours more after turning that router off that's something i'm going to say to you now I'm going to exit this place, this room, this is mine, and I'll pretty much follow exact procedure of what other people have gone through before me. This shit was all tested by other people, folks. I'm not kidding. I'm telling you right now, this, is, uh, this stuff was already all tested, and according to all this stuff, this isn't going to do me any good. I am repeating this stuff. I'm not kidding. Now we are at the terrace. It's not exactly the time to do it because it's lightning, terrible lightning out there. Uh, but let's see precisely what we have going on here. Right side, uh, right out on the terrace. What, what exactly do we see here? It says here is like plenty, plenty, plenty sources here. It's just a 2G. Yeah, it's actually nothing. It's completely dumped down, this stuff here. I am actually, I feel fortunate, I have no idea, but now, yesterday it worked this program, today it appears it's like nothing going on with this thing. It's like it's not even working or something like this. Now, I did have a different versions installed on one, but now I'm using the same version for all of the Androids. And it appears that while on some this thing is somehow functioning, on others it's not even doing anything, which is strange because the Android that I used to detect the 2.4 gigahertz uh, antennas... That one, surprise, it's a surprise to me. That one is not even doing his job. That's what's... Uh, this one, the big one, is now doing outside. That's total shock. That's an old android. And he's working. And he's actually even indicating, look at that. Look at this, look at him. He is the first one to indicate that we are dealing with a 2.4 gigahertz. Have you seen this stuff here? And then you have another one here woke up to. Ah, uh, nothing. The same thing. Nothing much with this one. That's nice to see it. This one here at my surprise, at my shock, because this is the one that worked really well yesterday. And today it's not doing anything. Today this is the one that's not indicating anything. That's what's strange about this stuff. However, these are not 2Gs. These are not 2Gs here that you see right there. That's indicating it's 2G. These are not 2Gs. These are real, real antennas. And now this one here, it's indicating that's nothing, that it's 2G, the one that's early in, in, indicated that these are actually uh, 2.4 gigahertz signals. So this is kind of stuff that I have, these are my phones. This is a really faulty stuff, faulty equipment. Uh, but they did get the phones in their hands. Uh, and I understand now why there was a, such a happiness on my mother's face when I left the phone at home. As soon as I returned from Poland, it was a, such a hyping. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It was a, such a rush that we have to go to the store. Now another one, another telephone again, is also indicating that this is actually something else, that these are not P2, 2G, I should say. It's indicating also that this, we're talking about 2.4 gigahertz channel. 
We're talking about the Wi. We're talking about the Wi-Fi, not not that kind of stuff. There you go. Ah, you probably hear the rain. It is raining. It's not a good stuff to do this right now. It's actually lightning out there. Look at this. So this here, this is my room. Hopefully, it's not gonna smash me right there with the lightning. But this is my room, and here you can clearly see that this is not about the 2G. These are just what you see right here. These are Wi-Fi's. 2.4 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz. Now what makes this whole thing interesting and what my niece's husband have bragged about, but that's a lunatic. In my view, it's a lunatic. Nobody's gonna convince me the opposite. What he bragged about, what this guy bragged about is that he created some kind of cage, like a Faraday kind of cage that once you're inside of the house, the telephones completely quit and they're not capable to discern between the Wi-Fi and the 2G. So that's a little evil stuff I have no idea about. It's evil, I feel, now, because, you know what? I'm not gonna forget the day when I was inside of the living room area. And I couldn't sleep for F. I couldn't sleep. I, it was just driving me insane. You, do you know how many of these uh, signals, Wi-Fi signals I got? I got at the time, I'm not exaggerating to you. I got at the time maybe 20 signals. That really, really made me surprised about what the hell I was like. Uh, look at this, this is interesting. Um, he is now indicating something else, device, some kind of a Sony, whatever. What kind of Sony? Uh, you, were, you were able to see that stuff. But this stuff here, this one is now indicating, actually, like, he has ability to discern between Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz uh, and a telephone. You see what I'm saying? So, but why is it not showing? Why is it not showing what you see right here, right? You see now it's showing 2.4 gigahertz. So when I go back like this, and I click this thing here, and it's indicating me this kind of stuff, 2.2 2G. If nothing else, if I'm not going to be able to prove absolutely anything to you, if I'm going to be capable to prove absolutely anything to you, that's okay. Uh, at least you can see the type of equipment I have here. So if nothing else, if that's just the only thing I have proven tonight, I have proven to you this something, that this is not, that something here is not functional. These are not 2Gs, these really, really are. As you're about to see in continuation, I'm going to make the video about at night time yesterday when I came. These are actually 2.4 gigahertz frequency stuff. Going further where my father's room is. You see this thing here. It's at least uh, 30 meter from here to the nearest house. At least. Why the people would have this around here, like this, I have no idea. I have no idea what, what, what is it that, that uh, they would use this so powerful stuff like this. My neighbor, right across the street, his name is Donna Collins, claimed under MK Ultra that it's the only thing that's safe, that's, that still that can be, it's 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, that's 2.4 gigahertz. Um, or up to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and so on and so forth. So, I don't know. You're gonna see that once we enter the house, all this stuff that you see here, this Wi-Fi, everything is gonna be gone. Except this here, the 2G. The, the, it's gonna all turn into a 2G. But we don't have any 2G. I don't know if anybody in Slovenia still has a 2G. So, where is this 2G coming from? Other than something that translates to the phones as 2G rather than 2.4 Wi-Fi signal, I do not know. There you go. These are a 2G. He claims that these are a 2G. I don't know anything about this stuff. Uh, but if 
So you guys know about this, if this is 2G or is not 2G. Do you know anything about this stuff? I don't know shit about this stuff, but that this is a 2G. I think this is a 2.4 gigahertz. That's what this is. Now, we're gonna enter. We're gonna go inside. And at least we're gonna see what's gonna happen with the 2.4G once we enter inside. Before I do this, I'm gonna turn the light off. Whoops. father that used a lot of metal when he built this house. So he uses maybe this, why all this stuff is going to turn into 2G. This is a living room area. Here at one point in time, at night, and it was not at one point in time, it was all the time. But it didn't make me absolutely any sense. Look, all of a sudden it's all gone. It's all gone. It's all gone. Except this here. This is still present. The two G's are still present. So there's only one, as you see here, one Android that's still indicating the presence of two G. That's the one right here. This one is still indicating three, four, five, six, seven pieces. As I stated, one time I had 20 of them. Frequently it was 15 more at night. That's what I was like, wow, why would it be a 2G? Somebody would be using a 2G. That's not likely that somebody would be doing the 2G. And so I couldn't understand what exactly went on. The only thing that went in my head was the scenario from the MMK Ultra when they claimed me uh, that... Touche Mobile Telemark, this is the telephone that I have. And you see that there is only one phone that is active right now. There is no other telephone anywhere. There is no SIM card in any of these phone, phones. There is only one telephone that is active right now. This one right here, who can even understand this thing here? I can't. This one was working fine outside, but it's not doing anything really inside. So then, uh, Anna, that's for my mother. So I don't, uh, I don't know what to say. The Y60 telephones, these are my telephones. That's only indicating, it's not indicating any kind of Wi-Fi, anything. Anything, yeah, there you go. So. All these models that you see here of the software, when it comes to the software, um, this is all about... Um, what it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff that got my attention, all right? I, uh, the settings, the settings, for instance, um, you can turn the Wi-Fi background scan, you can turn that off, Wi-Fi if disabled. That's something that you can't do on any other phone. I don't understand why only this here, this Ula phone, it's known as an Ula phone, would have that kind of feature. This is something I don't understand any of this. Why, why would be only this Ula phone that would have this kind of feature? That you can turn off the background scanning. You can't do this on any other telephone. And so the only thing I'm going to do is just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go here about, and so that you can see it's 1.21R2R99. It's 1.21. And now I'm going to go to the next one. This is a telephone that's all telephone. Sergey used to use this telephone and destroy one too. Better Russian guy. Very difficult to use because the screen is messed up. Um, I am just gonna go to this one here, the settings. There's no way I can turn the Wi-Fi off. Look what's gonna happen. That's all I get. You try to turn the Wi-Fi off, you are thrown out like this, you're booted out. There's no way you can do anything about it.
What is this here? I don't even know what what I did now. No, I don't know what I did. Yeah, this telephone you can't. This is very difficult because you 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 where you click, it appears that you click somewhere else. This is very very complicated stuff. Okay, now I did whatever I did, and uh, I'm gonna use this here. Yes, location again. Yeah, that's right. Now let's go back and let's see what's going on with this stuff here. So, if I turn the Wi-Fi off on this one here too, that's basically what's going to happen. It throws me out. It does not allow me to turn the Wi-Fi off. It will not allow me to do anything like this. I don't know how is this stuff done. Uh, you can see the model, the program. It's that same thing. One two one R nine nine. If I could only get this thing here, and I'll be happy. Uh, that this one here is a newer one because I wasn't even capable to install for whatever reason. The same as on that one right there. This is a newer one. This is like the last version of this ElectroSmart, and it's of no use. It doesn't demonstrate anything. It acts like a completely dump. And then you have this one here that I couldn't. No matter what I tried, I couldn't. Yeah, well, that's not going to change anything. Okay. So we're not going to find out anything on this one. This is very difficult telephone to operate. So that's all. Um, it's just here, it's a 2G, whatever. So, yeah, that's all. A little earlier, it, this was the phone that also indicated 2.4 gigahertz and so on and so forth. This is messed up, but that's all I have, basically. The one who bragged about that kind of stuff was my niece's husband. And um, he was the one who bragged that he did something like this so that mother could use the internet and she could have confidence and stuff like that. So that we have a really, really messy situation here, but I'm glad I did this. Uh, because interesting is that the other phone doesn't demonstrate anything and uh, this telephone here uh, this is really like cursed All of a sudden, it looks like it stopped working. Uh, but not this one here. But this one doesn't, this one is not showing. Ah, okay. It says, it says this here. And I don't know what's going on. It's just showing everything like 2G. Um, 
Uh, really, really strange stuff. And then at the same time, all of a sudden, it stopped working. It, it, it appears as if something would block the telephone, so the telephone would not, no longer would record this radiation issue. That's interesting. And the names that I have managed to record tonight, those names, second floor, uh, second floor guests, second floor residents, home, you know, home. Uh, that reminds me of MK Ultra scenario for my niece and her husband. So, I'm a fucking nobody, I'm just a guest here. That's what I'm trying to say. So that does, doesn't sit with me to them well. A real nobody is saying this to me, you know. That could be, that can be, and that offense insult. So, but I like those, the arrogance of my niece, her husband, and so on. Okay, so we are back here. And, uh... It appears it's showing again the stuff. That's good. And so I'm entering back inside. And so that we can see. Eventually we can get an idea about. So it's definitely showing this telephone here. That's normal. Uh, and it's showing from the neighbor up front. Wi-Fi too. This is a very, very good recording. I have to say I'm extremely, extremely pleased right now with what you see here. Extremely pleased with this. I am totally, totally satisfied with this because I got actually more than what I possibly could bargain. You don't understand. This is a big deal for me. All of a sudden, as I enter the side, uh, inside the house, as you see yourself, everything stopped. This telephone is what I'm talking about. The telephone appears like it's blocked by something. It appears the telephone is just not picking what otherwise is the case. So that's what's interesting to me. It's not picking up uh, the signals anymore. It picked up when I came, when I entered inside, and then all of a sudden it absorbed something, absorbed the telephone. And the telephone practically is not picking any signals, anything 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 that this program has to offer but if i step out right outside is about the telephones about the telephones uh, these are two same exactly the same kind of phones now this one did fall me on the floor that one did too because they made it like this so that one would fall on the floor and damage itself i already have demonstrated you how they have through MK Ultra demonstrated me how it's going to be done. They have cut uh, the pouch in, in a such a way that the telephone would simply fly out when I would go for a walk deliberately. Uh, it's like this. The same two telephones and it really, really doesn't matter because both of them are indicating just as the phones that never were broken. With exception of this, is this is the one I have used that can also demonstrate plenty, plenty other signals that exist. Okay, when opposed to this one here, this is the same, the same phones. These are the same phones that does not indicate. It indicates the same as the two other phones that never ever were broken. This never have fallen on the floor or whatever, anything like this this Ula phone or a tablet 
never have fallen on the floor. I have used one to record, I don't know, three, four, five videos or something like this. That's all I have used one for because it's useless for me. Or let's say this Tom Tom here. So you have one telephone indicating all this here, all the signals, all the signals. It's basically six signals indicating me right now. However, they're all 2G. It indicates them as 2G. And you have exactly the same kind of phone. This one here, that's not any indicating anything inside of the room right now, as of right now. As a matter of fact, if it does, it, it indicates one. It's just indicating another another uh, two Y60 telephones. That's one from my mother, Anna, and then uh, that's the other phone that you have seen right there from myself. So that means that these telephones definitely, and I have other proofs to demonstrate to you what they have done to, to the telephones, are completely modified with idea to give a totally wrong impression to me about what goes on. The worst yet is I don't have no measurement. I don't have absolutely anything I could use to measure the 5G. If this tablet would be would have been what I ordered, that's basically over 10 inch tablet that I could use instead of this laptop. It would be great. With what I ordered, I could use one. I would never have to spend money for this laptop for one thing. I could go and buy myself a 5G telephone and other stuff but with all this stuff these people have eaten me away two telephones potential telephones i could purchase that would be 5g so you see this shit is all coordinated you always go from one issue to another and it doesn't give you a space it doesn't give you any kind of space you pay for one thing and it's something completely other that is instead delivered to you and that's just the way it is. And you have to take it and just, just go. Just go. That's all there is. That, that's how that's done. But if I step out right outside, it's going to start to pick the signals again. It's not be the signals. In. There, is, there is plenty of signals here. But there is something else that's going on. This is programmed. It's designed in a such a way that so that you would not read so this telephone is blocked. This telephone will only demonstrate 2G. It will not give you the information about what really goes on. What is being used? 2.4 gigahertz actually transmitters. This telephone I'm recording with, however, does. But as you go inside, it will not work anymore. It doesn't function anymore. And at the entrance, now I know that they're doing some dirty, dirty, dirty stuff with this stuff here. That's a good stuff. We did came to the end of this mystery about what exactly went on. They did promise me torture through the 5G. I didn't take that seriously. Uh, I still have a serious suspicions about possibility of such torture. However, yes, when you consider Dr. Eric Berg, who insisted me, and there was not only Dr. Eric Berg, there was also other people who insisted me that they're going to put me in a situation, they're going to test me through the cancer issues. Literally test me. This is not testing, ladies and gentlemen. When you poison like this somebody and you're using this kind of instruments over the course of 28 years of torture, depriving one of employment and everything else, uh, this is not testing. This is a cold-blooded murder. It's a big-ass difference. The neighbor, Metot Yerman, police officer, told me, do not even think about drinking milk, because the milk is going to have about five times higher level of some kind of, I don't know, cultura or whatever inside of one. And it didn't come to me till I have, unfortunately, it didn't come to me, till I have recorded this video. Because under MK Ultra, when you are told it's one window that opens another window, it doesn't come to you. It doesn't come to you. And all sorts of other poison. Uh, lately, I've seen 
what mother told me do not even think about eating would be a walnut from the company known as Mercator. I remember they tortured you inside of that company. It's gonna be a mold, a shit, a garbage on behalf of Zoran Yankovic, that is a Ljubljana mayor. So you have all kinds of people like this. I suppose they had the right to insert poison inside of this, what they call this game, find the poison game. And myself, who's supposed to find a way out of all this, depression never existed, anything like this. The mental health experts from London, and I'm talking about the Prince William and about Prince Harry, who brought me into the suicidal clinic in London. Uh, that's where they would bring me since 2004. Uh, they can tell you that depression doesn't exist. That's just a myth that doesn't exist and it never matters. Anyway, what is this to waste 28 years of life anyways? Ha ha.